Today, we're gonna be making the easiest homemade pasta ever. It just takes three ingredients. On a counter, pour two cups of all-purpose flour. Shape the flour into a little well. First, add in a teaspoon of olive oil and a pinch of salt. Here, we have four whole eggs and two egg yolks. We're gonna pour in a little bit at a time into our well that we have created. That is about good. Next, cave in a little bit of your flour from the well that you have made. Try not to let it overflow. Mix your flour in with your eggs. Add in more of your eggs to your flour. Be careful not to overflow. Mix the flour in with the eggs. All right, once you have incorporated your eggs to your flour, make sure to flour your hands. This will make sure that the dough doesn't stick to your hands or has a harder chance sticking to your hands. So take your dough and your flour, you're gonna take it and you're gonna start to knead your dough. Once you have kneaded your dough, form it into a nice little ball. Take a piece of saran wrap and place it over your dough. Make sure it is really tight and that no air bubbles get in. Place your dough in the refrigerator for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you're gonna take your dough out of the fridge and place it back on your counter. But make sure to flour your surface because your dough will stick. Okay, get the thickness of your pasta maker. Then roll your dough out to the desired width of your pasta maker. Once your dough is your desired thickness, you're gonna flour your roller. Take your pasta roller and put it on the first setting. We're gonna roll it through. Take your pasta out and make sure to flour it because it will stick to itself. It's okay if it's not perfect. And air out your pasta. We're gonna put it back through for a second time. Now, move it to the next notch. One. All right, air it out, and make sure it is well floured. Now, we're gonna put it through on number one again. Okay, we're gonna put it on number two. 10, turns, catch it. All right, we're not gonna do the other ones twice because we don't need to. Take your pasta and we're gonna thread it through. As your pasta goes in through the pasta maker, it's becoming wetter. And that is why you need to make sure you have enough flour. 10 turns, catch it. Do another 10 turns and catch it. Now, you can see it's getting pretty thin. Air it out. Make sure it has enough flour. You can start to feel where the spots are getting sticky. Now, we're gonna go on four. I think you guys kind of get the idea. We're going up one by one, but you can skip one if necessary. Air your pasta dough out, flour it, when necessary. Once you get towards the fifth 
setting, it starts to get pretty long. All right, now through the last setting, I'm gonna put it through number five one more time and that will be it. But depending on what kind of pasta you are making, it depends on how thin or thick you are making your pasta dough. I'm rolling it out to a fettuccine type pasta. I did go a little over 10 turns, but it's fine. All right. This is your pasta. If you were making ravioli, you would go a little thinner. But for us, we're making fettuccine type pasta. We're going to stop right there. Now, all we have to do is cut the pasta. Make sure to flour everything so that your pasta doesn't stick to the surface and itself. But adding too much flour will make your pasta become dry. So keep that in mind. We are gonna put our pasta at this length. So what I'm gonna do is take my pasta and cut it at the desired length I want my pasta to be. Then you're gonna put a little flour on it so it doesn't stick on both sides. And you're gonna keep repeating this process all the way until you have no more pasta left. You can kind of just eyeball it. It doesn't have to be super exact. As long as they're roughly the same size, they will all cook even. Once you have your pasta cut to your desired length, you're gonna take a container and you're gonna thread it through on one of the cutters on your pasta maker. This attachment cuts all of your pasta. Now we're gonna put it in our desired container. Make sure that any of the pieces are not sticking. And if so, we add a little bit more flour. Repeat the process for all of your sheets of pasta dough. As you can see, the water is boiling and we are gonna be adding in our fresh pasta. So, before you add in your pasta, you're gonna salt your boiling water. Add a generous amount of salt. And add a little bit of olive oil. Adding olive oil to your boiling water is key so that the pasta doesn't stick together. Also, the rolling boil of the water can also help mix the pasta around so that it doesn't stick together. Now, fresh pasta cooks very quickly, so we're gonna put all of this in and cook it for about three to four minutes. As you notice, the water stopped boiling because we are adding in something cold that balances is out the hot but it will start to rapidly boil again a cool trick if you don't want to use a colander you can just scoop it out into your desired bowl All right, time to taste the pasta. Mmm, delicious. That was super easy to make. Thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. Don't forget to watch this video that YouTube highly recommends you should watch. Click it. Click it. Go ahead.